Fuji Old Towns gave them the impetus to make one last push. The student council of Castle Blaney College Secondary School wrote to us to tell us about a day of action that they were planning to finish the final quarter acre of a public park on the shores of Lake Mucknow. I'm on Gas Lake at Lake Bucknow here in Castle Blaney and the locals here have got together, they've got a derelict site and what they're going to do is turn it into a public amenity. It's quite amazing, there's going to be water skiing, there's going to be boating, there's a football pitch behind us, across over there is a bandstand, there's a little garden area with benches and flowers as well. It's amazing what they're doing here and the most amazing thing is they're doing it in one day. It was very bad. It was just full of rubble. It was bog holes. Would take an awful lot of money to get it done up. It's amazing how, how much work can be done in a day with fond labour and support of, of uh, the community. Everyone were ringing up to me uh, to say, what can we do for you, Pat? It'll be great for the townspeople. It'll be great for the visitors that's coming here. And that's what it's all about, for people that can come and sit down and enjoy uh, our immediate here in Castle Bay. As always, the first task is to clear some space, and they have plans for those rowing boats. It's a natural wildlife habitat as well here, so what we're trying to do is just to preserve that um, and just to keep it very simple. Michael has designed a biodiverse garden with wild plants, sloping pathways and mounds to replicate the drumlins of Monaghan. There's a lot of young people here today from all the different schools. We have the two secondary schools here represented, Our Lady Secondary School and Castlebany College. We also have the Youth Cafe down here today and it's, it's great to see so many young people taking part. I was really thrilled to hear about what the students of Castle Blenny were doing for their community. They'd been enjoying the park for about four years. They could see what a gift it was to everybody around them, and they wanted to make it even better. For Garrod, there's another priority, the lake. It's referred to as the Killarney of the North. It is very important as far as we'd be concerned, because it has 1,200 acres of water, lovely forests around it, golf course, fishing, walks, huge amenities, and we need to look after it. In the thick of the action is the man who has looked after the land for years, the local postman, Patrick Mincenti Finnegan. This is a one-man project at the very start, and that was Mincenti. Mincenti would have man-made that uh, soccer pitch that we see up, up the way there. As a tribute to the work that had already taken place, they actually called the park Monsanti, uh, Monsanti Park after him. So, and Monsanti still uh, posts many students retire in July of this year. And uh, I think we have a, a natural caretaker now for the park, so it's, it's a, an extra bonus. Probably every time a bit of the same. You know, the, 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 there's somebody there that mobilises people, and then people write the love they even think they didn't know you. If that, if that could be replicated at the national level, would it just come from the world, wouldn't it? There's a rotavator over there, there's a, a sort of a street roller, there's a JCB, um, they're pulling out dirt here. There's more wheelbarrows than I've seen in any town in Ireland. It's amazing. And the rowing boats are turned into flower pots. Well, all of this has to go there. Yeah, so uh, that's what yeah. you're for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, green fingers. Let's start with these guys yeah. around the bandstand here. There he is. Okay. This is my new vocation. It's very relaxing, actually. Do you feel you're doing something good for the community? And hopefully, people will appreciate it when they see it finished. A few years ago, my mom lived in one of the houses here, and this was a dump. So to see it like this is just brilliant. A lot of hard work has been put in today, from rain showers to sunshine, back to rain showers. No one mind. Everyone just got in and stuck in. It's just as it turned down. It's a dream. And thanks to Min City, it was him that started it all off. So it's a lovely way to finish. Thanks, everyone, for all your help. It's been a great day for Castle Blaney. And um, here's to the next project. Okay.